Hey E39 Source, this is Will and making an introduction of my E39 M5. This is a 2001 M5 uh, finished in Titan Silver over Silverstone Interior. I got the car in August of 2023 and been working on it since ever since then. Um, this car um, has approximately 182,000 miles on it. I got it at 179k, so I put you know a fair amount of miles on it for what it is. Um, let's do a quick walk around of the car. It's not a perfect car by any stretch. Um, it's more of a daily driver condition at this point. Um, I don't daily it because of the issues that it currently has still. But I do try to take it out, you know, a couple of times a week, um, whenever I can, basically. I do enjoy driving this car a lot. Uh, I've had manual BMWs in the past, and this one was one of my dream cars. I love the shape of the E39 generation uh, vehicles. And then when this came up on Cars and Bids, um, I knew immediately it was going to be a really good deal. So this was one of the first cars I've bid on and I actually won this car. It was very surprising to me that I won it, but I did. Drove down to Houston with my girlfriend to pick it up and drove all the, bay, all the way back to Fort Worth where it lives currently. Um, these are obviously not the standard wheels. Um, it also did not come with Style 65s on them. Um, it came with um, knockoff and parallels from this company called Topline, um, which I wanted to get rid of immediately. I got these wheels from a friend here in town who had these on his 540i uh, M Sport and with Titan silver paint and silver wheels. I think it looks really good. Um, obviously, I'm still on the lookout for Style 65 because it's the best looking wheel for this car, but for what these are, uh, these are probably my faves so far you can see that um, the car is not perfect let me see if I can get some of this hail damage in frame but there's hail damage on the car uh, there's various nicks like let me show you one there's one right here that started to rust that I need to fix up um, uh, other than that the exterior is, you know, in decent shape. It's not concourse perfect, but, you know, that doesn't mean that, um, you know, I'm, that's going to stop me from driving it or having the car. And in fact, it makes it better just because I don't have to worry about getting little nicks and dings. I do eventually plan to fix it, but not anytime soon. Um, so let's talk about some of the stuff that I've done to the car. Obviously, you've seen the wheels. I've changed the xenon bulbs. That was one of the first things I've done. Um, I fixed um, uh, the flex disc uh, most recently, uh, the flex uh, disc and some of the shifter components uh, that's been done on the car. Um, so power flex, uh, polyurethane, shifter fork, not fork, but shifter carrier bushings, as well as um, the Selector joint bushing, um, it was pretty roached. Um, I got um, new fog lights uh, from Morimoto. You can see right here. They work really well, really, really bright lights. I do recommend them. Um, uh, replaced the lower oil pan because one of the previous owners has stripped the threads on it. So. Other than, and I didn't want to do a helicoil repair, so I just bought a new uh, pan and replaced it. That was a fairly easy repair. One of the first repairs I've done on the car. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I've done rear ABS sensors. Since I had a code for them, I no longer do. Most recently, I fixed the Servotronic unit, which was uh, a pain in the butt to fix, honestly. Um, tried with the original unit on the car, didn't really work. Uh, whenever I did the servotronic repair, um, repairing the wires didn't work. Um, I ordered a used unknown unit off of eBay and fixed the wiring on that. 
and installed it and lo and behold it actually works it does have variable steering now so i was very proud of myself for that um let's see what else can we talk about here uh new brakes you can see these are slotted and drilled in there just in the front the rears are still pretty stock new pads you can see the pork chops are missing they're on their way from ukraine uh, i do want to do get all the underbody panels because there aren't any panels right now to just protect everything um, let's take a look quick look in the interior you can see that beautiful silver stone interior uh, new shift knob it already came with these cup holders which are way better i get it that people want to have original functioning cup holders but they're not good at being cup holders these actually are and i do use the car this doesn't stay down you need to figure out what that is um you can see the door sills are pretty cracked but still say m5 on them that's one of the things i want to replace and here's a very interesting very interesting part about this car you can see that it says if i can get the camera right you can see that it says replacement vin number well, that's because this car has been stolen in the past. In 2007, it's been stolen and recovered in California. So that's one of the reasons why I knew I was going to get a really good deal on this car. So, um, and I did. And I don't really care that it has such shady past. Uh, in addition to that, it does have 10 previous owners. So I'm owner number, number 11. That, again, doesn't stop me from driving this car and enjoying this car. Um... Let's see, so what's up next? Up next, I do have some stuff in the works. Uh, when I was doing the valve cover gaskets on the car as one of the preventative maintenance items, um, I noticed a piece of timing chain guide sticking up on the Vanos gear where the chain is, and it wedged itself there. Um, so I know the timing chain guides need to be done. Um, for right now, it doesn't really prevent it from driving. I know it's not the best idea, but... Um, if I don't drive it like an idiot, I feel like I'll be okay if I drive it sparingly. So, um, so timing chain guides are next. Um, I feel fairly confident after watching a lot of videos and talking to some folks online who have done this before um, that I could do it with some help and enough time and patience. So um, that's going. That's a big repair um, that's coming up next. Um, Let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, some of the cooling system components, there's a slow uh, coolant leak at the lower radiator hose, so that's on order. Front ABS sensors are on order. Uh, there's currently one active code in INPA, and that's for e-box fan. Um, fairly easy to do. Um, I just haven't really had time to mess with extracting um, all the computers and relay boxes and everything from the car and messing with the lid of the ECU uh, or um, the uh, the electrical box there because uh, I know that's a pain in the butt to remove. Um, so um, I am going to tackle it at some point though. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about the car? Um, it's not the most pristine example as I said before, it's a driver. In fact, it's probably one of the least nice M5s out there um, that is on the road driving. Um, but I enjoy it. It's mine. It's been a dream car of mine for a while. It's the most beautiful shape of a car that was ever made. Um, at least I think so. Um, so I'm going to keep driving it and she's going to be a keeper. Um, um, I don't like these, the ember side markers. So we will be going with clear Euro style hella lights at some point. And that pretty much sums it up. Again, um, name is Will, 2001 M5, uh, Titan Silver over Silverstone Black.